Yo ho ho everybody, this is Hunter. Hope you guys are having a wonderful day. Today I have got an awesome rear living travel travel blah, blah, travel trailer for you. It is the 2023 Salem Hemisphere 308RL, weighing in at just above 8,900 pounds. Think you guys are gonna absolutely love it. I'm in a salesperson here at RV Nation in Ohio. We are one of the nation's largest dealerships. So if you guys are in the market, please reach out to me. Use me as the price police. If you think I'm too far away, try me on. I'll give you a price delivered. See if we can save you money. I ship these things out across the country every single day, sell a ton of them. But uh, yeah, find my contact information down in the description, along with the specifications of this unit, things like length, weight, awning size, you know, all that good stuff, tank size, you know, you name it, it's going to be down there. But again, it's the 2023 Salem Hemisphere 308 RL rear living travel trailer. Let's go ahead and start on the inside. I'm going to break this thing down in about 15 minutes or so, you know, I would say, but Hemisphere got a whole new makeover. As you can see, when you walk in, this thing now has the wow factor. They went away from the browns and added in this way more modern decor I mean, look at the accent lighting, the bowed ceiling, lighter, brighter, looks a little bit more open, got a little bit refreshed. It's an island kitchen model with opposing slides. So one right there with all your, you know, your food and your entertainment. And then this one is the seating, which I got one window up right here. But as you'll see, there are nothing but big, big windows in this model. And they open up as well for a really nice cross breeze, you know, when you're sitting down maybe enjoying the camper, maybe it's raining out and you're just sitting in here, you know, kind of enjoying the, I don't know, enjoying the camper, I guess. Couple clicker lights, two, two, and bada bang. Right here, you got your dinette, which seats four. So sit down, have some breakfast, drink some coffee, play some cards at night, whatever you want to do there. There is tons of walking space due to the dual slides on both sides here of this island very comfortable to walk around does not feel cramped up at all also i know something that a lot of people of you guys dislike and this model fixes is you have the theater seating directly across from the entertainment which is a big perk and i lit up uh, one of the cup holders so you can see it both ways that cup holder is lit up this one is not accent lighting underneath the seat but these are going to be uh, your recliners so you can just pull a tab and kick back and relax. They're the quick recline as well. So that way you can actually sleep in them, you know, if you need, you know, the occasional extra sleeper that maybe doesn't want the pull out bed, you're more than welcome to do so. Two cup holders, a little bit of storage right there. And I'll show you this. So that's the nightshade. You just pull it down, pull it down and lift it up, you know, and you're good to go all tinted windows and again you know they do open up for you so as you can see this camper has a lot of natural light abilities you know if you guys need it or want it heck if it was mine i'd close it all up and get my dracula going i don't need a tan inside the camper right back here plenty of space again this is going to be a pull-out couch to a full-size bed so it'll come out to you know right around here to the point where you can't really walk around the island but, um, you know, pretty nice. Again, you can sleep an extra two people there in a pinch if you need to. Countertop space on both sides, along with storage on both sides. So that's what you're getting, both left and right. Also both left and right. Two USBs and two outlets. Windows all up and around the sofa. And then above, you have overhead cabinetry. And check that out. Like I said, they went away with the brown. They got this nice new decor here. I think it's looking pretty sharp. And they put a little honeycomb inside the glass, which is looking nice. You're also going to notice they hold themselves up there on a strut, which is always nice. Wired for solar. So you can put solar on top of this if you would like. Get some 12-volt power going on. Maybe run the, uh, run the refrigerator or something like that. Keep the lights on at night. Across from the theater seating. Like I mentioned, you got your, sorry, I'm shutting the cabinets while I'm doing this. You got your entertainment section. You know, this is going to be the slide, which has the entertainment, the oven, the refrigerator. New to 23, they went ahead and also, again, back to the decor. Still the same old fireplace, but now it has a mirrored finish. 
So this is what it looks like when it's on. There's a couple different settings that you can have. You can see the flames there. There's four flame settings and then four of the little rock settings, you know, for different colors. And then when you turn it off, you know, it just looks like a mirror. So pretty snazzy. I think that's pretty cool. Furion soundbar system, HDMI port, HDMI port, USB, zone one and two, along with an aux. So zone one is going to be inside, zone two is going to be outside. You also have a big old TV right there. I don't even know how to pronounce that. Sansui, Sanso. I don't know. Maybe someone in the comments can tell me how to pronounce that one right. But that's on a swivel so you can angle it so you can watch it. You know, maybe if you're laying down right there or just sitting, you need to kind of spread the love on the TV. Got your island, right? Or not your island, Jesus, Pete's. You got your Furion oven with your three stove top burner. The new backsplash for the 2023s. The Furion hood, which also has a vent and a light. Not the biggest oven, but you can cook a, cook a pizza in there and have yourself a good old meal. Plenty of countertop space. And then you also have two outlets and two USBs, along with the Furion microwave. So I liked how they're matching up the brands there. That gives you an idea of what the new, new trim work is looking like. And then right here, you have your Everchill 12 volt refrigerator. What I like about that doesn't run on propane. So it's a lot more efficient, campground friendly. Um, not to mention it works so much more efficiently. You know, the freezer will actually keep everything frozen as opposed to, you know, if you're parked and the sun's on that side, you know, beating down on that gas and electric uh, refrigerator, you know, it starts to get warm up, starts to get a little toasty. And then to the right of the refrigerator, if that wasn't enough for a weekend, you know, or maybe a week, you also have this right here, rather large pantry. And as you can tell, it's got the automatic sensor light. And there is a panel right there, which you can get past, you know, for any type of service needs that you might have. You're also going to notice this has a pretty good size lip on it as well. So things won't be rolling. Right over here, a little bit of storage this is kind of like the, uh, maybe like the drink zone. I could see like a pretty cool, like little margarita bar over here, Bloody Mary's, you know, whiskey, something like that. Or who knows? I don't know. Maybe something else that's not, you know, booze related. Two USBs, two outlets prepped for Wi-Fi for your King Connect. So you can call up like Verizon or AT&T, get yourself a 4G connection out here, have Wi-Fi if you're uh, one that's traveling on the road like so many of you are. And then your island. So you got accent lighting all the way around. I love what they're doing with that. You got an outlet right there. This is where you can toggle on and off the accent lighting. So I'll show you what that looks like without it. Still looking real nice and sharp. I do love, I think at nighttime when you're coming out to get a little snack, I think that's pretty cool to have that going on. Nice little ambient glow for you. Little drying rack. Put that over here. Single stainless steel undermounted bowl. And your high rise faucet with a little snake doodad. Underneath here access to your plumbing behind that panel, and then some additional storage. More storage. Yeah, I think that about wraps it up for here. Now I'm going to show you the, the bathroom and the bedroom, but I'll give you one more good little look here. And if you guys have made it this far, if you guys could please consider hitting that like and subscribe button. And then if you are in the market or know somebody in the market, you know, I'd love to talk to you. All I ask for is a chance. Might just save you a bunch of money. All right, before we head back, right here is going to be your control. There's going to be two ACs on this unit. So one's going to be in here. The other one's going to be manual where you twist in the bedroom, which I'll show you here in a second. But you got your door. And then right in front of the door is going to be your control panel. So water pump water heater, tank heater, so you can use it for more of extended three seasons, all your lighting controls, slide outs, awning, you know, all that good stuff all in one central area. Plus you can check how full, you know, any of your tanks are. So, you know, black tank one right there, gray tank. You can see, you know, we're getting it prepped up, filled up the gray tank with a little bit of water for the customer there. Fresh water, two thirds full. Bada bing, bada boom. Bathroom. 
pretty good size. You can actually sit down and do your thing without having your shoulders bumping up against the wall. So plenty of room, good size shower. They also use the tri-glide tri glass. Um, so you can see it's kind of sectioned off so that way you can get into it. You know, as a bigger fellow myself, it's always nice having that kind of feature. You know, I'm standing in it right now and I got plenty of room. But I can get in and out. All thanks to Tri-Glide technology. Very fancy. A couple little places to hang up a towel. Max Air Vent. Got yourself a little bit of a mirror. Got some outlets. Sink. Access to the plumbing and some storage. TP holder. Storage right there. And then to the left of the shower, you also have some more storage right here for some towels and, you know, whatever else that you need. I mean, that it goes pretty deep. I'm six feet tall and I can barely reach the, uh, you know, the end of that. But there's four of those. So pretty nice. This thing's got it going on. Now, this is where it really shines for me is in the bedroom. I mean, check out how much floor space that is. And just notice how kind of cozy it feels. It's a really nice, nice decor that they got going on. I just think it looks nice. It looks high class. It looks like somewhere that I would want to be. There's also a window right here. It's an emergency exit window. So for whatever reason you need to get out, pull, pull, push, you can get out in a hurry. If not, use it as a little cross breeze again. Enjoy maybe some of that fall camping weather. A place right here for a TV backer, which you can see by that sticker along with the appropriate plug-in. So two outlets, cable, satellite. And you got yourself a dresser with three pull-out drawers, all of which are gonna be looking just like that. As far as the bed's concerned, that's what you get. Two windows, one on either side. And then over here, two more outlets and two USBs. There is also some under the bed storage with an outside access panel as well, if you would like, or you can lock it up. So like I mentioned, uh, two ACs in this unit. This one, the only way to get it controlled, you put your desired temperature and then you twist this knob. So like, let's say if you just want to turn the fan on, you know, you're good to go. Now, one thing I absolutely love about this camper is this closet. So this is one of the few travel trailers out on the market that you can actually put a full size washer and dryer so first if you saw that if the camera caught that sensor lights but look at this tons of room for storage for stuff a little hanging rod you also have that little cubby right there but right there is going to be your dryer vent location with an outlet and then over here is going to be for your washer got your outlet right here hot and cold water so you can put a fully stackable you know, Splendide or Splendide, however you pronounce it, washer and dryer back here. You do not have to get a combo unit. So that is pretty cool. That's going to be a huge selling point for this in general, always has been. And then you got a little bit of storage here up above as well. But I think that about wraps it up here for the, uh, for the inside portion of this tour. Again, it's the 2023 Salem Hemisphere 308 RL. Hope you guys are enjoying this so far. And like I said, if you are, Make sure to hit that like and subscribe button for me. I appreciate it more than you know. Or just drop a comment and maybe say hello. All right. Solid entry steps. Dual axles. The cool thing about this, and let me show you this from over here, is they're spread out a little bit more than usual. 42 inches compared to most that are 24. So you actually get more of a stable ride while you're driving. It handles and absorbs some of that road bounce just a little bit better than some of the other competitors. Even some of the campers that I sell for sure. Two awnings, one off the slide, one right here. Both of those again will be down in the description of the camper. Marine grade speakers, so that's gonna be your zone two. LED lights as well under both of the awnings. You got a little leash latch uh, for dog people, but I think cats can go on leashes too. Might have to talk to them about that. Solar on board, harness the sun's free energy. It's free as long as you can buy the solar panel. Oh, hey, I didn't notice this. There's a sticker, wide stand suspension. 42 inches, competition 24, bada bing, bada boom. Got yourself your pass-through storage right here. 
And what I do like about that is it also shows off that aluminum construction, but also you got the slam latch door with the magnetic clips. So a little bit nicer than some of those cheap ones that kind of break over time. Uh, power stabilizing jacks. So this is gonna be where you control that. That's your, gonna be your extend and retract for the front two. And let's head around here and do the back side and kind of run around the camper that way. Place for a TV bracket. So you got your Y bracket right here and then your cable uh, hookup right there along with, you know, a couple outlets. This is gonna be where you plug in, um, or not where you plug in, where you extend and retract the back stabilizers. And right here is an LP quick connect, so that way you can hook up a grill. The hemisphere line is a fully walkable roof, so it does come with a ladder, so that way you can get on top of there, you know, check your awnings, make sure there's nothing on there, check all your seals, do all your yearly maintenance. If you don't want to check the tops of your slides, you can buy your way out of that. $700 a piece buys you a slide topper, uh, so that way, you know, nothing can really get on top of that. It really just blocks everything from landing on it. Bumper with a spare tire, and it is prepped for an observation camera. 550 bucks gets you a Furion S-Vision. You have a suction cup onto your windshield, and that way you can see what's going on behind you while you're driving. Park cable, satellite hookup dish, satellite hookup. That's where you plug in your camper. Two slides over here. Both of them you can put the slide topper on. Make it life easy. They got both the tanks, both in one spot, your gray tank and your black tank. They also have a black tank flush. If you're not familiar with that, it's a sprinkler system uh, for your black tank. Knock off the TP off the walls, all that kind of stuff that can build up over time. And then your city water connection and your fresh water connection. You also find your low point drain down there as well. This is the storage that I referenced when you pick up uh, the bed. And this is the back end here of the pass-through storage. So it gets a little bit bigger on this side. And then obviously buying it will come with your battery. Propane will be full. We're going to give you the power, or the power tongue jack comes on it, you know, up and down with just a click of a button and a light. But I think this about wraps it up, guys. Again, this was the 2023 Salem Hemisphere 308 RL. My name is Hunter. Hope you guys enjoyed the tour. See ya. Meh, 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 meh.